With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, our question is 60 gram of ice at 0 degree Celsius is added to 200 gram of water initially at 70 degree Celsius in a calorimeter of unknown water equivalent W. Okay. So if the final temperature of the mixer is 40 degrees Celsius, then the value of W is we have given latent heat of fusion of ice is 80 calorie per gram and specific heat capacity of water is 1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius. Okay. So in the calorimeter, when we mix 60 gram, when we added 60 gram. of ice initially it was at 0 degree celsius then first it melts to 60 gram of water 60 gram of water first it will convert into 60 gram of water by melting the ice okay and the temperature will be still 0 degree celsius and then it will heat up to finally 60 gram of water to attain the final temperature of mixer that is 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. So the total heat required in these two process, suppose the first process needs Q1 heat and the second process needs Q2 heat. So the total heat required. in the process is equal to first to melt the ice and then to uh, heat up the water at 0 degree Celsius to 40 degree Celsius. So if total it required is Q1 plus Q2. Okay, so Q1 is what? It is heat required to melt 60 gram of ice into water at 0 degree Celsius. Okay, so the heat required will be what? It is mass into latent heat of fusion of ice and q2 is what q2 is heat required to heat up or to rise the temperature from 0 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius for water so it is mass specific heat of water into rise in temperature okay so the required heat is what heat required is total heat required is equal to mass is given 60 latent heat of fusion is also given 80 plus mass is again 60 specific heat is 1 and temperature change rise in temperature is what 0 to 40 so it will be 40 degrees celsius okay so heat required is this much calorie if we take 60 common so 60 into 40 plus 80 it will be 60 into 120 calorie this much amount of heat is needed for converting the ice into water and then heating the water up to 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. And if we know the heat required, this much amount of heat will be given by the hotter body in the calorimeter. So, heat release. Now, we will see for the heat release. Okay. So, uh, from where heat is coming? Actually, initially in the calorimeter, we have 200 gram of water and plus W is the water equivalent. So we can assume that container is equivalent to W gram of water. Okay. So 200 gram plus W, w gram of water we can say because water equivalent means we can assume it as water only that instead of container if W gram of water is there. So same amount of it will be released. Okay. So initially it will at 70 degrees Celsius. It is cooling down up to 40 degrees Celsius. So the final is 200 plus W gram of water only, but the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. So it is cooling down. So heat will be released from this. So heat released, we can now calculate heat released. In the process is equal to 
ms delta t mass is 200 plus wb can take take specific heat is one and change in temperature what is the loss in temperature it is 30 now so this much amount of heat is released when the uh, water and the container is cooled down from 70 to 40 degrees Celsius. So say this is equation 2 and this is our equation 1. So we know uh, heat released is equal to heat required in the final state. So we can equate equation 1 and 2. We know heat released is equal to heat required. So we can equate the two equations. So it will be 60 into 120 calorie heat required and heat release is what 200 plus W into 30 calorie. Okay, so you can cancel 30 to 60 by 2. So finally, we can write. 240 you can cancel this so 240 is equal to w plus 200 so w is coming to be 240 minus 200 so it will be 40 gram so the water equivalent of the water equivalent of the container is what it is 40 gram okay so let's see for the option which we have given. Let's look for the options. The third option is given here 40 gram. So the water equivalent of the container is what 40 gram. Okay. So I hope you are clearly able to understand the problem. Thank you for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.